hello guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that the main has a weight w and stains at the center of the plank if the planes at a and b are smooth determine the tension in the cord in terms of w and theta so we have to find the tension in this particular cord in terms of the weight of this guy and this angle theta and as we know that the system is in equilibrium so if we consider the uh, normal forces on the plank at a and b so at a we will have the normal force which is going to act uh, vertically upward like this so this will be this will be our n a and here at b we will have the normal force as well which will be acting perpendicular to this inclined surface so this will be n b and since uh, here we have the rope so here we will have tension t which is going to act in the upward direction so this is our tension t and the weight of the guy is going to act vertically downward so this is the weight of this boy and let's say this is represented by w and now let's say that um, let's draw this plank as a line right so if we want to draw it as a free body diagram so if we separate this this is our free body diagram and here we have that point a this is that point a this is that point b so now as we can see that this tension t this tension t in the cord is parallel to this inclined surface and this inclined surface is making angle theta so from this we can say that this t is making angle theta here so if we want to resolve this t into its components so we will have two components we will have one component of t which is going to act in this direction so this one will be t cos of theta and we will have t sine of theta and similarly if if this n b is perpendicular if if that n b is perpendicular to this surface so if if this is n b and if we draw a vertical line like this so this vertical line is perpendicular to this horizontal line and this n b is perpendicular to this inclined surface so if the angle between this inclined surface and this horizontal line is angle theta then the angle between this n b and this vertical line is also angle theta so from this we can say that if we uh, if i draw a vertical line here so then this and b is making that same angle theta here as well now if we apply the uh, summation of moment about point b so that must be equal to zero since the whole system is in equilibrium and we can write that the summation of the moment about point b is equals to zero so all these components and their resultants they are not going to produce the moment about point b since they are passing through that point b so so as we can see that this and a is producing the moment about point b in the clockwise direction and the weight is producing the moment in the counterclockwise direction and further it is said that we are given that here we have this angle phi so this plank is making angle phi here and as we know that um, the boy is at the mid length right so the weight is at a distance of this distance is l divided by 2 the total length is l so this will be l divided by 2 and similarly this is l divided by 2 as well now the weight is going to produce the moment about a point b uh, in the counterclockwise direction so let me write that this is uh, plus w the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so weight and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point b so the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point b will be this distance so this if we will we are going to consider this right angle triangle and the hypotenuse is l divided by 2 and if this angle is phi then this angle is phi if this is phi then this is the l divided by 2 cos of theta so the perpendicular distance of the weight from that point b is l divided by 2 cos of theta 
and similarly this and e is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus and e and the perpendicular distance of this and e from that point b is this distance so again we are going to consider this right angle triangle and if this angle is uh, phi then this angle is also phi so if this is l then this length is l cos of phi so i will write that the perpendicular distance of an a from that point b is l cos of phi equals to 0 this is all this angle is also phi this is phi so now if we divide this whole equation by cos of phi so this will cancel out and we will be left with w l divided by 2 minus n a into l and we can divide this whole equation by l as well so we will be left with w divided by 2 minus n a this is equal to 0 and we can say that n a is equal to w divided by 2 now we know n a in terms of w divided by 2 similarly if if this and b is making angle theta with the vertical so we can resolve this and b into its components so it will have two components and b will have the cos component which is going to act in this direction this will be and b cos of theta and here we will have an b sine of theta so now if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equals to zero if we apply the summation of forces along the y equals to zero and this is our positive direction so now as we can see that this and a is acting in the positive y this and b cos of theta is acting in the positive y and this t sine of theta is acting in the positive y this is our positive x and y direction so now we can write that an a so this an a which is w divided by 2 plus this and b cos of theta and plus this sine component component of t so which is plus t sine of theta this is equal to 0 and from this we can write that if I bring these two terms to the other side of equation and since this is the summation of forces along y so the weight is acting in the downward direction so we have to include that weight as well so we will write minus w so this is minus w equals to 0 so now from this we can write that t sine of theta is equal to weight minus w divided by 2 minus and b cos of theta and this w minus w divided by 2 will give us plus w divided by 2 so we can write that this is plus w divided by 2 minus and b cos of theta now in order to write this tension t in terms of w and theta we need to have this and b in terms of the weight and angle right so uh, for that we have to apply the summation of forces along the x axis is equals to zero so the summation of forces along the x axis is must be equals to zero since the whole system is in equilibrium and again as we can see that we have this uh, t cos of theta component in the x direction and this in the negative x so we will write that um, t cos of theta is acting in the positive x and minus and b sine of theta is acting in the negative x so this will be equal to zero and from this we can write that t cos of theta is equal to and b sine of theta and from this if i divide both side of equation by cos of theta so we will have t equals to and b and sine theta divided by cos of theta gives us tan theta so now let's substitute this and uh, or we can write that let me write that uh, since we need n b so from this we can write that n b from from this equation from this equation we can write that n b is equal to t cos of theta divided by sine of theta so now let's substitute this n b in this equation so we can write that t sine of theta equals to w divided by 2 minus n b now n b is t cos of theta divided by sine of theta into cos of theta so now we need to have these t terms on one side of equation so we need to bring this to this side of equation so this will be t 
sine of theta plus t and this will become cos into cos will become cos square so let me write it as cos square theta divided by sine of theta this will be equal to w divided by 2 now we need to find t so we can write we can take this t as common so we can write that this is the equation will become like this so now we can write that this is t and now if we take sine of theta as an lcm so this will become sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to w divided by 2 and sine square theta plus cos square theta this will become 1 this will become 1 so we can write that t divided by sine of theta is equal to w divided by 2 or we can say that t is equal to w divided by 2 sine of theta so this is that tension t in the card in terms of the weight and this angle theta so i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if this helps in your learning